So yes, that was the full problem. There was a third number in there, 900, which was a fake number. It's not important to anything. <laughs> it's a thousand easily. The answer is 10%. But no, like I said, up on the board, he had to write down because people were calling out 200, 80, and 2400. He also wrote down the freaking the thousand or whatever because that's what I said. <laughs> that's the one I called out. Don't get me wrong. There were other people that called out a thousand. I don't want it to be like, oh, I'm the only one that got the right answer. But the fact of the matter is damn near capstone class. Like it's like number like 450 as opposed to 460 or some some nonsense like that. Like there's only one tier for an undergraduate of classes above this. And it's the end of your educational experience capstone shit. And people were presented the word problem that equated to 1,050 minus 50. And some of them said 2,400. Some of them said 200. I don't understand some of these people sometimes. Like at some point there is a, okay, we're in class, you know, don't be, don't be snob or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, don't be mean. Everyone's trying. But then, it, like I said, for what this class is, like I said, it's second to the end. It's fucking crazy to make a mistake like that to me. Surprised nobody said one. <laughs> we had, um, but no, just <sighs> it kind of dis I'm gonna tell you the truth, it kind of disheartens me. I, I basically, I've basically decided not to push forward be for a master's degree because there is an accelerated degree program at the college to go straight from undergrad to grad. And I'm, I, I think I've decided just to not push for that because if it's possible to do that type of thing to push for undergrad to grad, and this is the, some of the people are getting to the end of undergrad with that level of like on the fly mathematical knowledge, I, I genuinely worry like what the, the master's degree from the school could be worth, if that makes sense. Like that doesn't sound right to me. Hold on. There's no such thing as a stupid question. This might be true, but there is such thing as a stupid answer. Something can either be right or not right, and you can measure how far off you are. I think I, I have to wonder. Like I legit, like I don't want to be rude, but I kind of want to go up to him afterwards and be like, "What did you think the problem was?" Like I kind of want to know where the mistake went because it's not like they added. It's not like they had ninety in there because it wasn't like a one fifty. You know what I'm saying? Like none of those are related to nine hundred. None of those are related to 900. So I'm like, wh where did you, what did you do? What was the mathematical equation you just did? Yeah, so I've kind, I've kind of had basically just decided like, nah, just finish up the undergraduate, go to work and at some point from there, go get a master's at a different location. Because I think if, because as far as I understand, if you have an undergraduate, you just have an undergraduate. It's, it's like, it's looked into, but it's not like looked into, looked into. If you have a master's degree, it starts becoming important what school you got like that type of degree from. You know, once you get into that level of jobs that have prerequisites, certain locations, degrees are rated higher than others. Why are you thirsty? You shouldn't be thirsty. We 
We have plenty of drinks. Oh, hold on. I haven't paid attention up here in a minute. Well, that wall got built wrong, so we have to redo it. Did we get wood back? We did get wood back. Uh, you need to be a limestone block. And then back to wood, I believe. Alright, hold on. Oh, that went wrong. Switch to ash. Uh, log. Logs. Everyone loves a log. Log, log. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. Log, log. It's better than bad, it's good. But yeah, no, it was, uh, slightly disheartening to say the least. Oh, and the end of this month, uh, we'll not be doing a Saturday stream. Heads up on the 28th. I already know we'll not be doing a Saturday stream because that will be PAX East. I don't know if any of you guys are in the region and are, are able to go to PAX East, but February 27th to March 1st is PAX East. So I will not be able to stream during that time. Just a forewarning. To chew, we don't have song requests going on right now. I assure everyone there are stupid questions. Well, no. I'll grant you, the reason why I would argue that there are no stupid questions is that even if there's a question that is in fact stupid, that tells you what they're thinking of. You know what I'm saying? Like a stupid question at the very least tells you that they have no clue what the hell you just said. Whereas a stupid answer now begs, I get to go figure out what the what they thought the question was. That, that that's why that's why I believe that there are, you know, I'm I'm fine with there are no stupid questions. Uh but no, I don't believe there are no stupid answers. If someone has an answer that that's that wrong, that means you have to wonder what they thought the question was. And that's when you start having issues. It's like a computer. It's like a computer that doesn't do a job, but thinks it does. If it thinks it did the job, what did it think it was supposed to be doing? You know what I'm saying? There's a there's a difference. There's a world of difference between a computer that has an error and goes, I had an error, but at, at least like it knows something's up versus one that's like, I did my job and you stare at it and you're like, you didn't do a damn thing. What did you think the question was? That's what gets me. Remember to get your vitamin C. Oh yeah, right. I've got, um, I don't have, I have, I have vitamin D things, don't I? I don't have C. I have to get vitamin C. Don't forget shower and deodorant. Yo, so there's one of the reasons why I can't, why I get a hotel room there. Mostly because I know for a fact, if I had to come all the way back here every evening or whatever, that I was, as dirty as it would be, there's no way I'd be able to take like proper showers every night. Eventually I'm just gonna be so tired at least one of the nights that I'm not gonna be taking a proper shower. However, you get a hotel room, you're just there and you're not having to clean up after yourself. Like you don't have to clean, you don't have to worry about doing laundry to make sure you have a clean towel the next day and things. So yeah, fuck yeah. Always get a hotel room. Get a hotel room to make sure you can do showers. It's PAX, not Friday night magic. <laughs> Kind of wondering though, like if anyone goes to that event with the Kung Flu, we're all going to die. Historians will will reference this day as as the day some morons caught the virus and brought it black. Okay, you're saying you can't access that, but you totally can. No, you can't. All right. 
Bing. Build construction ramp on the right side. Person with logs. No, um, what is it I've been watching though? I told you guys, have any of you from the last time I mentioned this watched the shield anime? For those of you who are in fact weebs and like the anime shows. Last time I streamed, last Saturday, I recommended the shield anime. Now here, here comes the question. How many of you watched it? No. <laughs> Went for a walk with some friends today. It was nice to get out. I didn't realize I was so out of shape. Yo. Right? <laughs> Frickin' go on leave. Go on leave in the military and then come back and have to do PT that first morning. Be like, I, I didn't know I'd gotten so fat. <laughs> I have watched that anime. Zach, though, it's welcome to the stream. That is an amazing anime. I love it. I, I love an anime that can turn shit on its head. I love any medium that can turn a trope or an idea on its head. And it just giggles me how stupid the main character is. And she makes broken OP characters, but she has no clue how to like read the rules and make broken OP characters. It's literally like uh, beginner's luck, beginner's luck to OP characters, but in, the M in a VR MMO, <laughs> it's, like an, it's, it's like an idiot trying to get through a fucking Isekai. It's amazing. Except for she's not really stuck in another world. Kind of half reminds me of Konosuba, except for Konosuba is an isekai. Demon Slayer. I think I saw maybe there were a couple anime this season that demon it. Which one is Demon Slayer? I'm bad with names. <laughs> You're gonna have to forgive me. I'm bad with names. Unless it's something that's like really easy to remember, like a couple syllables. Then, then I'll remember it. Like I, I know Konosuba's full thing is like Kono Subarashi and the Verdant Land of Happiness or some weird fucking name. I can never remember that name. I can remember Konosuba. I don't know. I cannot remember Konosuba's legit name. What is Konosuba's full title? Kona Subarashi, God's blessing on this wonderful world. That's what it was. Kona Suba, that's what it's called. <laughs> I am not gonna remember the rest of that. Now, here's a question before I forget what I'm doing. Is this how I did it over here? Went two, two until I did this one straight down, which makes sense to me. Yep, that is what I was going to be doing. I've been watching The Office. It's a pretty weird anime. Uh, you think that is bad? Story of the week, maybe year from town south of me. Hold on. Story of the week, maybe year from the town south of me. My wife's friend works at this library and put in an internal application for the open director job. She was the only one with a required master's degree, but someone with only an associate's degree got the job because of 20 years of working there. Okay, I think I'm following. That's the other. Is this gonna? Is, is there a third part to this where it's like how badly they fucked up? I, I, I feel like, I feel like this is a setup for the joke. I'm waiting for for like the actual, like how badly did they do? <laughs> Otherwise, that just sounds annoying. It sounds annoying to be to be your wife's friend. The whole name of the Demon Slayer is Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. Master's degree on what? That yeah, this is a, this is a good thing. What? That is a good question. <laughs> what are these degrees based on? How do librarians work? I don't know.
Like, did she get the master's degree for the promotion and then they skipped her? Otherwise, this just sounds like a dick move. They got audited and told they were losing all funding until they fixed the problem they made, i.e. the director needs a master's degree to get funding from the state and the Fed. Well, yeah. Particularly anything that works with the state or federal level, when they say they need a degree, it's not just like a regular employer saying like, we want this high degree, but we can do other things. No, if it's from a state or federal level, if they say you have to match these, we need the green check mark these boxes, they mean they need to green check mark these boxes. Master's degree in library science. Yes, it's a thing. So did your wife's friend get the job when they realized that they were fuck ups and they owed her basically the job? Build construction wall. Uh, this down here needed to be a limestone block. So for the one Z level up, we are going to build a wall directly on the wall. So this will be for two Z levels, a sheer line. But if you recall and look at what the shape we had to do for the equilateral triangle, this is basically a pattern we need to do where you have one, then a two, then a two, then a one, then a two, then a two, then a one, so on and so forth. So what we had here was, I don't think this one counted for me. We had one, two, we went in one, then we went in one and this has to go up two. So this next wall on top of this, instead of ramping and building on the inside, it's gonna take more time where we're literally going to do square by square and build a wall on the wall. And then the next one, we'll do the thing where we build it in and we'll do that for two Z levels, so on and so forth. So we can maintain the Triforce's equilateral shape perspective from for all three dimensions, as opposed to just us looking down upon it. <laughs> I'm so tired. I stopped taking Adderall and coffee because I was having anxiety chest pain. The pain is gone, but I'm so fucking tired now. So here's the thing, um, cut back on coffee. Don't mean to sound like a dick, but um, we had had a bunch of people. When I was in the military. They would do uh, R, you know the R, your mateys monster. They do like monster energy drinks and or coffee and things like that in the morning, and it was what they got them to do. Until finally, at some point, they just started having like mass. They started having like headaches and shit like that on like the semi-regular. I pointed out to them that that's was symptoms of like coffee, like fucking I'm forget not coffee withdrawal, uh, caffeine withdrawal. And then some of them listened to me. And then afterwards, like, like they're like, oh my god, like how badly, like their fucking life sucked for a few days as they stopped taking that. And, and, and yeah, you'd be surprised. A lot of people don't realize that they're basically addicted to caffeine. Not that caffeine's bad or anything. Fucking, I'll drink, I'll drink Coke. I like Mountain Dew. But some people just get into a habit of drinking caffeinated drinks for like everything. And then even though it doesn't necessarily feel like it, it gives them like physical issues like headaches and chest pains and the like. Now, whether or not Adderall has anything to do with it, I can't say. Not from personal experience, so I will not weigh in on that. But I will weigh in on caffeine. So what happens is people end up taking more caffeine without thinking about it. And it'll cause problems. To be fair, about people, we were also making it worse because every Friday we do Blue Falcon Fridays, we get hopped up on Mellow Yellow and we'd get each other in trouble until we all got smoked. You do stupid shit in the military. Occasionally you just do really stupid shit in the military. Adderall is basically amphetamine salts. Well, I figured. 
I, I know, uh, I know Ritalin's methylphenidate, which is, of course, based upon a meth base. Uh, I don't know what Adderall is. I just know, I just know it's in a similar vein of medicines, so it has to have a similar chemical makeup. Uh, so wife's friend is one in the building that has said master's degree. So he tried to offer her a job, but only at the pace she was already at. She said no and quit. The building has since closed. Yeah, you, <laughs> we're, we want to give you more responsibilities. We're not going to pay you. That's not how this works. You owe me money. That's like, um, it's like the phrase. Everyone uses the phrase wrong. I hate hearing some of these companies use this phrase. The customer is always right. The phrase is technically correct. Let's let that sink in. The customer is always right. The phrase is technically correct, but you know that there are two customers to a business. And businesses only ever use this to reference one. One customer is the customer that is buying your goods for their money. The other customer is the customer that is buying your money for their time. Ergo, employees are also customers. You would never, ever say to a customer, all right, here's what we're going to do. I want you to pay me three times as much today for the exact same product. No, they will go to a different store. If you want to be an evil, evil company, you have to slowly like try to raise the price or in employee terms, slowly raise their responsibilities. You don't try to give someone a promotion and not try to give them more money for it because you wouldn't go to a freaking customer and say, oh, BT dubs, starting today, I've tripled the cost of everything, but I'm giving you the exact same product. That would never fly. You need to come up with some reason for why you're charging a customer more. You need to come up with some reason for why you're having the employee work more to them. That reason would be more money, more money or some other type of benefit. Trying to have them do the same uh, a harder job at the same pay never makes sense. That does not make sense. After all, uh, the state dismissed the board and is going to have an open election to pick new board members throughout new stuff. None of the employees at the time of closure will be permitted to run for board membership. Swice Friend is running unopposed for president as she quit before the close. That's amazing. Good. I hope she wins. Because that board sounded like a bunch of asses. I want you to do this for the same pay. <laughs> oh, fuck yourself. Does the board get paid? Oh, tell me the board gets paid. That'd be amazing if she now gets paid money to pick someone to do the job that she wanted to do. Made sense in my head. That would be that would be like the ultimate. I'm forgetting the term right now, but the ultimate like uh, what is the term? I feel like it's a it's a German term. Uh, happiness at like knowing someone was going to fail and then they fail. I swear to God, there's a term for this, but I forget what it's called. Okay, time to see you people later. Have a good evening, to Chewu. What is that term? Uh, Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude is the experience of pleasure, joy, or self-satisfaction that comes from learning of or witnessing the troubles, failures, or humiliation of another. It's a complex and fortune, feeling sympathy, blah, 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 blah. Schadenfreude. There you go. That would be the ultimate Schadenfreude. If she now, she, she kind of that she still doesn't get the job or her first job, but now she's in a position making more money to pick someone to do the job that she wanted to do. Yep, three times what she was making. Good. Good. Oh, you know what, you know what I haven't done yet? I haven't done the clean const. Was it clean const? 
It was clean cons. 543 items. Damn. That's not bad. All right, how are we doing back here? I haven't paid attention to you guys down here for a while. Um. So yeah, I think we can definitely say this dude's a vampire. No one's gotten hit. The dude's never been allowed out and he hasn't had to drink anything. He's just distracted. Probably because he hasn't been able to socialize. Unable to make romance, self-pity after a lack of abstract thinking. Well, I'm going to leave you alone for a bit. You can be distracted all you want, as long as you're not killing people. I have to think about how to get his blood into a well. So this is a well. How do I get his blood into it? I could also turn that office essentially into a well. Somehow. Then get people to not do booze and drink the water. How do I get him in there? And particularly injured. I need him where the water is. I need him to fall into this well. I'll have to work on that later. I'm going to get too distracted trying to think about how to get him into a well. This get canceled. That did not get canceled. All right. So this layer of wall is very nearly complete. How does that look so far? Let's let's do a save. <laughs> that timer is fucking bored. It said 4.30, three minutes after I started, and then 6.30, it said, hey, you should probably. So I'm wondering if that 7.30, you'll finally catch up and say it again. Either way, my timing is going to be off, and that's annoying. Not you. I'm trying to load up Armok. Limestone. Limestone. Drop stuff on him? Yeah, but the real question is how to get him into the well. I can easily find ways to drop stuff on him and or get him injured in the well. But how do you get him in the well? Problem is that well is a one square aquifer. That's the real issue. This well is just a thing I dug into the ground that happens to be touching an aquifer. So how do I get him into a thing that's already filled with water and then find a way to injure him in it? Boom, bam, boom. Easier thing would be to just get him into a different area, treat that and like hurt him there and then make that be counted as a well. You didn't even launch yet. You son of a bitch. That would be the easiest thing to do. Treat an area as a well or get him somewhere, injure him and then treat that as a well. I could have him outside somewhere. I can't do it. Yes, you can. Don't you yell at me, Kane the Flumph. Tell me you can't do something. Did it get canceled? Damn it. I didn't mean to cancel that. Even more importantly, though, once I start spreading it, how do I do it in such a way that everyone gets infected sooner? He does make for a good military, though. He is a military leader, and he's by himself. 
I guess maybe at some point I'll switch that to something else. The only thing I, I need, I need like an area where he won't get himself killed. Like if I put him in a burrow where he's not allowed to go into bedrooms, right? Will he, hold on, I have a stupid idea. Name the burrow vampire. All right, if I, if I, if I make a quote unquote vampire burrow, And he's allowed to do this, but not go to people's bedrooms. And what I allow from him to do is to go to the area where he can socialize and eat food and the like. By basically put a vampire on house arrest. Will this work fine? So I think they respect Burroughs. I don't see why they, why they wouldn't. This way he can still get whatever he needs for socializing and I can have the room open so he can still do his mayoral duties. Because the big thing is if he catches people sleeping. But he's not going to catch them sleeping like this. He's allowed to go to and from the dining hall. And the areas, the other socialing, socializing areas, the other areas of socialization. That's a far better way to say whatever the hell I think I was trying to say. Hello, Domine. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? We have discovered the vampire, and it turns out the vampire was, uh, was a really swell guy. He was the mayor. He was the, uh, general. He was the broker. He was the bookkeeper. He was... <laughs> Is there something else he was? He was freaking every job known to man. Being a little freaking sociopath, just killing everyone. All right, we'll see how well this works. Worst case scenario, we start getting deaths again and then just lock him up in the mayor's office. It worked once before, I don't see why it couldn't work again. So that is all he's allowed to do. That's it. And I'm going to vamp uh, at Citizens to Burrow. What is this man's name? Search Axe. There we go. All right, that is all you're allowed to do. That way we can get rid of your distracted nonsense. You are free. I think. Yeah, no, you're free. This is technically true. I don't know why I bother to do the hallways when they can just move from burrow to burrow and ignore uh, everything between the burrows. But it should help him with it, some of his requirements. No reason to have a risk of vampire going crazy. And Domina, you are dead as well. It lied to you. I don't know what's going on, but somewhere between uh between the episodes, some people died and the list didn't update correctly. Yeah, no, you're dead, Domine. Sorry. <laughs> well, the thing is they fall asleep in the hall that he won't eat them because there's other dwarves present. 
L Spirit, welcome to the stream. No, I don't play without you. I don't understand. Like at some point it just didn't update that you were killed. Like I don't think it saved the file right or something. I don't play without you guys. It might be that they just never found your body. A lot of people die and it won't tell me until a little bit later. And it's like, oh yeah, we found them drained of blood. It's not doing like the normal alerts. Uh, you are dwarf number 15 and you are also dwarf 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. You were so close. So sorry. Domine? Domine, you are the bartender. You just also so happen to be a legendary carpenter and almost legendary uh, pump operator. But you do the booze. And then after him was El Spirit. El Spirit, you are a hauler with some skills in fishing. For now. Lowercase. El Spirit. In a little bit, I'll get your descriptions. <laughs> Yay. Don't worry, I can recruit you into the military with the vampire. I'm sure you'll be fine. Second question after everything, why, why, oh, why didn't the game or does therapist not give credit to the vampire, but the game does for killing everything? Uh, do we have soap? We do have soap. We're low on it, but we have soap. Ooh, thank you so much for the resub, Domine. Lie containing item. We're having this issue again, aren't we? Can't make lie. Or the guy who makes lie isn't active. Do we lose a dwarf who makes lie? I will get to your descriptions. Just bear with me. I thought we had a Sutter. We have two Sutters. Why is no one making lie? Because lie making physically isn't turned on. Derp a do. All right, first one up was Domine. This might. Might have to try a couple versions of this. My. My uh, sinus voice isn't working well with the female description. Domine is incredibly tough and very agile. Is incredibly tough and very agile, but she is susceptible to disease. Domine likes Rutal. Brass, blue garnet, crystal glass, chicken leather, the color... No, I don't like this. It sounds... Wrong. Wrong. How about this one? She likes crystal glass, chicken leather, the... No. I'll just have to, we'll just have to do it the same way no matter the gender for today. My noise isn't... My my nasal cavities aren't working with me. <clears throat> we'll try this again. Domine is incredibly tough and very agile, but she's quite susceptible to disease. Domine likes rudel, brass, blue garnet, crystal glass, chicken leather, the color indigo, Amulets, sloth men for their slow movement and the sight of the lacy flag. When possible, she prefers to consume clownfish and potato wine. She absolutely detests muscles. It's a potato wine vodka. She has good memory, but she has poor analytical abilities, a questionable spatial sense, a large deficit of willpower, and really poor focus. She dreams of mastering a skill someday. And the other person... Oh, I thought I turned you off. The other person, L Spirit. L Spirit. 
sees a lot of dead bodies in her day-to-day -day life. L spirit is strong, but she is slow to heal and susceptible to disease. L spirit likes pyrolusite, aluminum, yellow spe spessartine, backpacks, giant emus for their inquisitive nature, and the sight of the lacy flag. When possible, L spirit prefers to consume apricot wine. She absolutely detests slugs, however. She has great ability to focus, great analytical abilities, a great sense of empathy and natural ability with music and good creativity. <laughs> but she has little willpower, little patience, and a poor ability to manage or understand social relationships. But who needs that in this day and age? She dreams of mastering a skill someday. A short, sturdy creature fond of drinking industry. Emus. Hmm. Um... Hold on, though. I'm slightly annoyed at that. I'm annoyed at what it did. I kind of wanted it to stop doing Bulbasaur for a bit. Let me, uh... I'm going to turn off the Prime requirement. Or change it. Prime should have only, like, done the first one or two. Shouldn't have been overlapping in all regards. Hold on. S slight distraction to the streamer. Uh, Cause I I put some I put some work into my fucking ton berries. I want my ton berries to be working. Where is Prime? I'm turning off the Prime setting. Oh, someone just follow. Thank you, L Spirit, for becoming a strategist. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And then let me try to redo the, the, the sub without the prime option. Doink. Thank you so much for resubbing. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to keep that prime option off. I don't care. I don't care what a person uses to sub. A sub is a sub. <laughs> Thank you so much for being strategist. Thank you so much for 10 straight months. You're almost there, Dominate. Two more months and you shall become... Tonberry King? I think that's what the blue one is that says Doinketh. The Tonberry King. Or a Tonberry King. Where were, where were we in wall construction? Where were we in our base infrastructure? Yeah, just build that wall out in the middle of, the middle of nowhere. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. Would fucking confuse again. Why are there clothing up here? Who's getting naked on the base? I did not authorize nudity on this base. Oh yeah, that's right. We loaded up Armok Vision. We wanted to take a look. See what this kind of looked like. The wood is going to look like shit. Until such time as I can mine out gold to make this be a Triforce, I need to get the shape down. We're gonna have to make this look like Garbo wood. Best I can do. But uh, it looks like it's going well over here. The if this tree wasn't in the way. The side view is looking like it's going up for the three-dimensional pyramid. So it does do a two, a one. This will be a two. And the diagonals look like it's doing the same thing. Goes up one, went up. Diagonals make this harder to see, but it looks like it goes in one and then in one and that'll go straight. I always keep wanting to look at this from the side, but that's never gonna math right because that's a tri a diagonal on a triangle. You're just not gonna be able to represent squares right doing that. But I think our equilateral triangles are coming along smoothly. Close our mock vision. We don't need that. Do, 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 do. And of course, for any other new viewers or anything, don't forget, feel free to ask questions. <laughs> Not just about what I'm doing, but if you are needing to understand something for Dwarf Fortress, of course, I have the YouTube channel where I have the College of Dwarfology, where I address uh, basic to middle thoughts is the wrong word, topics is the wrong word, theories is the wrong word mechanics 
where I trace base to moderate uh, gameplay mechanics in small bite-sized chunks, but this is also so that live, if you see me doing something and or you have a question, I can just, I can just answer it. Do not feel scared to ask a question. And also anybody can get dwarfed, it is free. The dwarfing command that gets you a dwarf is the same command that tells you if your dwarf is still alive. So if you just wish to lurk, that is fine, but still feel free to dwarf. And later on, cause it's not, not committing to anything. Later on, you could just type in the same dwarfing command. You don't have to really talk. You're just typing in dwarf. Can we ask the dumb questions? Dace Bass 76? Yes. <laughs> yes, you can ask the dumb questions. There are no dumb questions, but there are dumb answers. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> do I have a, do I, I don't have a hammer thing. I have swords galore, but I have no hammers. I'm a failure of a dwarf. What kind of dwarf doesn't have a proper war hammer? I have to hang my beard in shame. How goes the aquifer down below? Did you quit again? Kind of legit wish there was a way in place to like upgrade the door fortress below the lazy new pack just so I can make this be a slow aquifer so I can get through it easier. Now, how do I get the military? In there. Sad. You can't do that there. If I build traps there. <laughs> no, he just straight drained someone inside the dining hall. Holy shit. What? How is that a thing? I'm gonna ignore that for now. That's gotta have been someone. Maybe it's because he's really hungry. I don't think he could do that regularly. No witnesses to any of that, really. How are there no witnesses? You are fucking bonkers. There is no witnesses. No murders in my part. Well, they weren't murdered. They were just found drained of all their blood. So, you know, not technically a murder, I guess. Uh, build trap. I had a weapon. What if we do a weapon trap here? Made of something that's not gonna do much damage. I like a training spear. And that's it. We park him on the training spear and we hit it. Because sometimes when people get hit, they dodge. We can get him in the water. He's got to, he's been in fights. He's got to be in blood. So if we can get him to dodge in the water. Maybe his blood will get in the water and we'll be good after that. This is legit my thought going forward right now. This is maybe I can get him to dodge into the well. I'm going to need more mechanisms, though, to trigger this, aren't I? One for the lever. One to connect it. And we already had one, but I'll do one more just to be safe. Uh, I have no stones. I have detected a problem. Let us dig out more stones as you know we need to we always need the more stones i'm gonna purposely stop it one row short just so we can have ramps all the way into the new area i 
That should be enough for at least a few more stones. Shouldn't be like that complicated. <laughs> That's where you go to drink. You invited them in. Soon this will be full of technically undead dwarves. That's what I'm trying to hope we can pull off and or just get them to stop murdering each other. Because <laughs> if they're all undead, they won't be killing each other. And or if they're all undead, I don't think they can catch like anthropy. God, I hope not. If we have a freaking werewolf undead, I'm going to lose my mind. Um, build trap lever. Build a lever here to do our freaking murder dwarf system. Then we get were creatures and it's dwarf twilight. No, no dwarf twilight. Freaking, I hated that stupid. St I don't even know why that became big. It doesn't even make sense. Any, any version of that plot I heard just sounded like bestiality versus necrophilia. I could not wrap my head around the idea of that goofy fucking plot. And anything you saw for a commercial is just <sighs> sparkle. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with her? Do they have her on drugs? Is this girl blitzed out of her mind for the recording of this video? What the hell is going on? I did I did I didn't like it. <laughs> Dwarf light. You're an awful person. You were an awful, awful person. I want you to know this. <laughs> The Schadenfreud. All right. Um, we're getting stones now. People will haul them up, I guess, whenever. Until such time, though, I can go to the mechanics. Say, make a rock mechanism. Make a rock mechanism. Make a rock mechanism. And we can order these out of limestone. They'll figure out what to grab, even if it takes them all day to do it. All day. How's this wall going? Stop suspending it. The problem is this isn't going to detonate on them right now. This has a weapon. And like I said, we need to get them to be able to dodge. In order to maximize this, I'm going to remove all of these and replace it with a wall for now. This will give him, upon standing on it, a 50-50% chance to fall into the well. And if the thing happens to hit him, he will also be bloody in the well. Then after that, it'll quickly become a, a race to see who is or is not eaten. Who will be team freaking vampire and or who will be team freaking food. God. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? You build what I tell you, damn it. Speaking of which, how's this one doing? Suspended. Fantastic. Fan freaking testicle. How are you doing? Build construction wall. And you get suspended? Why? There is nothing blocking the site. If there is, move it. Holy shit, this isn't complicated. I think they just moved it. As a matter of fact, I think they just moved it. 
So if you had just been slightly more patient, we wouldn't have had to deal with any of that. I'm not sure what's going on with this room. I'm excited to watch it fail. He'll be on Team Undead, he'll be on Team Literally Dead. Unfortunately, Airmill has thousands of hours of actually making shit work, so any anymore, his nonsense works more often than it does for 97% of less than one one hundredth of the time. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Even his stupid shit tends to work. I'm just worried we end up crippling this dude. All right, where are our mechanisms? So he's making one now. Did you get suspended again? Mm. How are we doing up here? Right wall, that wall, that wall's been done, build construction wall. Can someone get the clothing out of the damn way? That clothing's gonna be the bane of my existence. Mm. Excuse me. Is there an engineer named Morgan? <laughs> no. Should probably name the vampire Morgan. But I think that'd be a bit much. Also, if I named the vampire Morgan, that'd be removing an opportunity for one of you guys to eventually get named Morgan. Uh, get named Morgan. Yes, I'll be removing your chance to be named Morgan. No, I'd be removing your opportunity to, at some point, someone get uh, the vampire named after them and or other vampires. You can't give him the best character and then complain about it. Exactly. Not to run a DF hack command for all those loose socks. No, not really. What I need to do is I need to get the refuse pile set up like bet or better. That's what it is. It's just they're, they're just laying around, not claimed and or they need somewhere to go because that's what this was. See how some of these are damaged? I just need to have a bigger finished goods pile. I need, a, I need to quantum that pile. If I quantum the pile, a lot of the clothing would disappear. I suppose I could just do it now. Fuck it. These are, these are both good piles, aren't they? Why do they allow bins? They're not supposed to allow bins. I guess way back when. Oh, no, that's backpacks. That's not a bin. Do I not have bins here? Hell yeah, these aren't in bins. Let me update this to nothing. Bins are for losers. Uh, build finished good pile. Wait, hold on. Not build. I don't know why I thought it was build pile. Finished good pile. This allows no bins. What do you have in finished goods? Is this all of them? It is not. It is only chains on down. The one to the right is only chains on down. So this one is only, say it with me now, chains on down. Yes, good. We've all figured it out. Um, How far down? Did it go to figurines or did it stop at handware? Stopped at handware. Build a construction track stop that goes to the north. Make you out of a birch log. And I need a mine cart from the carpenter. Mine cart. We'll get those compressed into one and then they'll start handling the clothing after that. We'll be fine. Thank you, Mountain Home, for finally saying this shit at a reasonable time. It is around 30s now. I don't know why it's on the 30s. Bye, YouTube.